You know sometimes you just do completely random things for no apparent reason? Well that's kind of what we just did. We were on our way back to Osh and we just stopped off in this little town here for lunch and then after lunch we just had uh, a little five minute walk around and then Danny decided that actually he quite liked this little town and that as we were in no hurry to get back to Osh that we should just maybe stay the night here. This is our hotel. A Soviet job but completely unplanned. Danny being the workaholic he is. All right, Danny. Danny's at work being a good boy. Even on a Sunday, he still works. Getting a bit of fresh air. The problem with these rooms are they're a little bit smoky because they've had like four or five decades of people smoking in them. So get the window open, get some fresh air at least. For those of you that care, the town's called Kizilkia. And I'll be honest, I'd never even heard of it until we passed by, um, let alone know anything about it so I can't tell you much about it but I think I can ascertain that once upon a time probably during the Soviet period it did have some kind of industry here this thing looks like a school seems to have like about four different blocks there as well have you noticed how disproportionately big schools are to the little villages or towns they're in here? I'm not a big fan of Sundays. In fact, I don't like Sundays at all. I never have done. But in fairness, one good thing about Sundays is that oh, things like whatever uh, administration buildings, schools, colleges, universities, anything, they're always nice and empty. So you can always just have a walk around the grounds uh, during the week they're a bit busy and you can't really do it anyway. So get to check out school. And it's not just me who's enjoying the fact there's no school kids here. The peace and quiet. There's a family of goats here as well. Seemingly enjoying it. Although now I'm disturbing and trying to run away from me. Not a bad school actually. Not a bad school at all on the outside I don't know what it's like on the inside maybe we can look inside a window uh, looks, looks like a classroom here my goodness huge that can't be a classroom no okay there must, must be a canteen on first glance it seemed like a small little town but actually I think it's a fair sized town particularly by Kyrgyz standards on the wall of the school there they've got to Chitsa Uchitsa Uchitsa which is a very famous quote from None other than Lenin, of course. I'm quite sure before it would have had his name uh, somewhere there. Just like if you look above the uh, the middle Uchitsa, you can see what was quite clearly once upon a time the Soviet emblem scrubbed out now. It means learn, learn and learn. And during the Soviet period, education was... Uh, seemingly if you speak to people now much better than actually is now all over the soviet union wherever you go everyone talks about how education was much better than uh, before than it is now maybe more effort or more funds were uh, applied to it i don't know or maybe people as usual are just looking through rose tinted glass this is clearly the stadium of the town or city it would appear to be closed the gates at least so we've got two options either we don't go in or we find an alternative route a rather mundane little stadium but not uncool actually the main stand is covered so I guess I can Get out of the rain for a few minutes, have a little break from that. It's raining quite hard now, actually. And appreciate the rather odd... Well, it's not odd. Well, it is a bit odd. Uh, make your mind up, Paul, I know. But uh, the stand opposite, it's, it's old. And perhaps that's how stands used to be. But, yeah, I certainly don't think I've ever seen a stand like that before. 
must have been the original one from the staging, probably from the 1950s or something. This looks like it was once upon a time a palace of culture or something like that. Situated right next to the big factory there, so workers of an evening could go uh, see a show or do some other cultural activity. This shows what I was trying to say in the video the other day about the mosaics, how they just uh, disappear. You see here, this is Misha the bear, again for the Olympic Games, but it's mostly falling apart, and I guess sooner or later it won't exist at all. As is often the case in these small towns, there's not anything specific or special to see or do. But doesn't mean you can't still have an enjoyable time. I've been walking around for about four hours non-stop and I finally come back to the hotel and then I just noticed that uh, the window's open and Danny is still working there. You see? Are you guys starting to believe me now that being a manager sucks just about to go back to the hotel but i thought well this street just parallel to the hotel i haven't walked down yet so um let's just walk down that and then be done you've probably been wondering he's been walking around the town for four hours and he hasn't seen a lenin statue yet and it's true i haven't or rather i hadn't until now Just come back to my hotel and what should I see over there but a fellow nutter. <laughs> a fellow wet nutter. <laughs> We're not just staying at any hotel, we are staying at the best hotel in Kizil. Here. Okay. And how long are we staying for? Well, just one night is more than enough, I think. Mm -hmm. I can't put up with your snoring any more than one night. <laughs> oh, boom! <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit rainy today, isn't it? Uh, uh, hello. I think I've just been walking around for four hours in it. It's you know, a bit you know, rainy, says the man who's been sitting inside in the in the dry for the past four hours. And how, how do you manage, uh, Paul? I mean. Uh, where there's a will, there's a way, you know. Ah, Just sure. got to go through the, the barrier. Don't let anything stop you, you know. Oh, so you feel a bit like a lion or what? A lion? Yeah. Yeah, I guess in a way, in a way, you know. But you've got you've to gotta do what you've got to do. You can't, you can't let external factors stop you. Things like the weather. If, you, if you're going to rely on the weather or just wait for it to stop raining, you won't do anything. You know? uh, wouldn't you mind, Paul? I mean, you have a big audience, you know, you know that there's a lot of fans, but they still don't know anything about your private life. So we would really be keen on knowing a bit of your... Because all those ladies and, and men and just... <laughs> there's not much to know, really. There's not much to know. But just keep watching and keep enjoying. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> okay.